Hi everyone, um, sorry to creep you out with that music, but I thought it went really well with uh, the topic at hand here, which is springtails in the worm bin. And here you see a big mass of them um, swarming all over the coconut. Uh, the coconut was nice and moist, and that's why you have springtails, because uh, your, your worm bin is uh, too wet. And they're called springtails because, well, you saw that right there. For that reason, they just spring from point A to B. Um, they'll also do it when they're when they feel threatened, um, obviously with a big pin poking them. <laughs> and uh, so <clears throat> uh, they have this little appendage; it, it's right under their abdomen. It's it's basically like a spring, and they just let it go, and they fly on off to wherever, kind of like a flea. It just jumps. Uh, they're quite a bit smaller than a flea. So, um, but this is what they look like. They pose no threat to the worm bin. Um, probably the wetter the better for them. So just let it dry out. The worms will go down into the soil uh, to stay away from the dryness, and you'll see your population decrease quite a bit. Um, but uh, they're just um, they they love um, all the dying matter, and you'll find them in compost piles. And uh, but they get along really well with worms, and uh, like I said, they pose no threat. So enjoy them if if you have them but if you have an overabundance let let the bin dry out a little bit so anyway this is uh, the springtails in the worm bin and um, i'll see you next video